U.S.-Indian defense relations have improved dramatically over the last 15 years, but the opportunity to co-develop India's next generation aircraft carrier is an order of magnitude improvement in what the two countries could be aiming for. Uh, neither side has thought of anything as ambitious as this project. And so developing an aircraft carrier for symbolic reasons, for industrial reasons, for strategic reasons, really puts uh, the partnership in an entirely different league uh, from where it's been so far. The benefits of co-development for both countries are enormous uh, because the United States is the acknowledged world leader in building large deck carriers. And India could profit greatly uh, from U.S. experience. But the challenges are equally significant uh, because neither country has attempted to do something of such magnitude. India has had a long tradition of building its vessels all by itself. And it, there are real questions about whether Indian naval architects, for example, would be comfortable having U.S. experts pour over their designs. Uh, there are other questions about whether the United States would be comfortable providing India with advanced technologies like nuclear reactors or aircraft catapult systems and the like. So there's a lot of work to be done uh, before we get to the point where this project actually yields fruit. The most important thing that the United States can do is to help India in three basic areas. Uh, provide the capabilities that help the aircraft carrier fight, which means provide it with advanced combat aircraft and the sensors that are required to make it an effective fighting machine. The second is to provide capabilities that help the ship move, which is look at the entire area of nuclear propulsion and any assistance we may be able to offer. And third, look at the areas of integration. Uh, an aircraft carrier is a system of systems. It's not enough to have individual components work well. They have to work well in unison. And integration is an extremely difficult challenge when you're building large warships. And the United States, again, uh, has experience in this area that is matched by none.